it's Father Time. Guess who we are? We're at Andrews Air Force Base. And uh, let me move my face here. You can see it. We're in the Boeing. Victor Charlie, 25 Bravo, to be delivered to the United States as the presidential airplane. For two, two copies of this. So it's going to be a few years overdue. Like I said, 2027. They're supposed to be here in 2024. We are at Andrews getting ready to roll this thing out. And uh, I'll be right back. Let's get us on the way out there. My intent is to fly from Andrews Air Force Base up to LaGuardia for the president needs to speak at a United Nations meeting. The United States election is uh, in just about a week away, <clears throat> eight days. So kind of a timely thing. A lot of fun, though. I have never flown the 747 in real life. Um, I have a type ratings in every other Boeing airplane, it seems. But... I have never flown this one, and I've never flown it in the simulator. I started out, up, taxied out uh, a little while ago, and on takeoff, it, I couldn't rotate, couldn't turn, it, it basically crashed. So uh, hopefully we do better than that. I'll be right back. All right, here we are at Andrews on the ramp. Some C-17s over there, F-16s, I see it. So we're in a uh, Boeing 747-800, which the military version, which is this one, is vc 25 Bravo, as I mentioned, 1987. Two of them are going to show up. Uh, I noticed that on uh, Microsoft Simulator 2024, which is coming out in three weeks, uh, 787 is one of the airplanes. They even got the Beluga uh, for transferring parts, that big blown up one. And then PMDG is coming out with a triple, uh, 747 800. So I thought I should start flying it around, get familiar with it. Uh, anyway, let me go inside I'll show you something there's a seven uh, the old uh, one is parked in the terminal I'll show you that over here look at that seven four four hundred which is one of the old ones La she be she's a beauty but look at these seven four eight hundred over here they get all the electronics now my uh, you guys maybe can help me out my GSX is not working on the uh, this airplane at any airport, even without scenery packs. So with a, even without scenery packs, it's not working. So uh, we're going to taxi out, come out this way, and either go to one runway one or one nine. Looks like some C-17s out there. The airplane uh, typically the president flies with C-17 in tow. All the equipment and they also have in their personnel they also have uh, usually a couple of fighters with them a few fighters escorts of course helicopters would fly here from the capital land right outside the president will walk to the airplane but anyway that's all I know I know about as much about that as I do about this airplane so let's go inside and go to the overhead and and see if I can get this started again since I did so well with it last time. Get started here. And give that a chance to go. And while we're doing that, we'll do the outside. Do the walk around while the APU starts. Hear the APU starting. Yeah, I'm kind of impressed with this. For an, I've been flying around the MD-11 and the uh, 777 by PMDG. Both airplanes I have flown. And, uh, the, of course, they're high-fidelity airplanes, study levels, some guys like to say. There's a static port, it's missing the detail. See, that would be all, the holes would be there on the PMDG and MD-11. So if we get a couple of fellows in the cockpit. Hello, guys. This guy's taking himself a little seriously, I think. Uh, okay. Been a long time since I had avatars in there. I don't usually fly the Microsoft Flight Simulator Birds. What a beautiful airplane, huh? Never got to fly it. I was actually had a class date for the 74 SP, which is a shorty. American had two of them that we flew from uh, New York to London. We flew to Tokyo out of Dallas for a while, too. But uh, anyway, never got to fly those. I'm used to having a cabin, but there's no cabin on these. So, um, yeah, been flying these high-fidelity airplanes too long. So I'm looking forward to the PMGG when they come out with one of the quality that they put out. Let's go inside. Let's go to the overhead and get those uh, 
AP generators on. There we go. Uh, let's see what else we can figure out, guys. We'll get the... Uh, now, remember, I do have a couple of thousand hours. I just retired a year ago off the 777. I've been flying the 777 PMGG version. Um, so I'm just going to do a quick overhead. So it's not like I haven't been flying the Boeing. So kind of do emergency lights are closed. This charge lights are on. I'm just doing a quick check. Start switches. Yeah, this is fun. This is fun. I'm going to put on the fuel pumps to a ready to start. But I'm going to put them on. Put on the mains. Center's probably a little pressure. We don't have the fuel in there yet. I should put that on before we do anything else. Uh, nav. Uh, let me see. Yes, nav light should be on. Window heat should be on. And uh, APU started, so I can put the packs on. Leave the bleeds off. And leave those on. Okay, let's go down here. Go to the box. Database is good through 30 October. Today is the 28th, almost Halloween, in this in the colonies. Here we go. Uh, so don't forget to subscribe, guys. That would be really nice. Uh, we, as of this morning, we think we had um, 3,400 subscribers. We have a very nice Discord channel going. The links will be below. Please join. Come on over there. Love to have you. Go route, route request. It's thinking about it. It's going to sim brief, right? It's thinking about it. Let me go over here, legs. Yeah, that loaded up for our short little flight over LaGuardia. It's a little different than the triple here. Yeah, this one. I'm just gonna do something here. I've got to do the fuel weight and balance here. How do I do that? Uh, settings. No, oh, weight and balance. There it is. Ooh. See if I can get it set from operational flight plan. Yeah, I just watched the video. That's good. 45,000. That's a little better, guys. Root. We already did that for finit. Zero fuel weight. 478 reserve. That about 20,000. Let's throw that in there. That's good enough. Uh, cost index. How oh, did it? They went away. The little boogers. Just thinking about it. It's our flight plan. <coughs> there she is. Cost index is uh, 320. That must be a... That must be a... 747 thing, uh, 320. Yeah, so i really looking forward to learning this. And as soon as I saw that um, they were going to be having this on Microsoft 2024 and on uh, PMDG was working on it, I thought I'd better get get in here. Linson one to Jerry's off of uh, runway 19 right. Linson one to Jerry's. Off a of 19, right? There we go. Let me see how that uh, jives up here with the Andrews weather. Andrews weather 3035 is a high altimeter. 1028. Yeah, that favors 19. So information uh, Yankee. Altimeter set. Um, let me get the departure arrival. We got that. Let's go to LaGuardia. And see what they're doing up there. What you doing up there? It's uh, Proud 2 to our runway 4. Proud 2 to runway 4. I don't know what the transition is there. Um, Proud 2 runway 4. Transitioning off of Westminster. I don't think there's going to be there. Nope. So let's do this. Let's go legs. Next page. Yeah, that'll work. All right. And now, uh, takeoff page, thrust limit. I don't know. Do they have takeoff data on this airplane? I don't know. Don't know. It's with flaps 10, 
since last time. That's what I took. CG, get that in there. Don't know. We'll go with 11. Oh, it's 18. All right. Don't know. And uh, we'll just do a... Uh, let's do a max power. We'll get the president on board, right? Give it all we got. And so we get the reduced power. Reduced power. Reduce so that's good. Go RTO here. This is cool. Uh, as I mentioned, now you don't arm these for takeoff. Let's see. Go to the... Uh, Blue shield control panel here, mode, mode control panel on this airplane. I think 3,000 is correct on that SID. I guess we could use say intentions on this to get us some action, right? And uh, runway 19. Let me do this, get my Lago Tech going there. I just want to see what the heading is. Charts. Heading on way 19 is uh, 190. 190. Alright, so up here. I don't have any of my panels working, guys, so. My Ligatech panels. Or. or uh, Stream Deck or anything, I mean, anything like that. They usually have the Logitech panels going, but for whatever reason, they're not working today. There we go. And uh, V2 was uh, 159. Make it big. The flight director's on. 159. You guys who fly this a lot, probably going to get a kick out of this because. Yep. Now, let me show you GSX, guys. I'll show you what I mean. And that's all I get. All right, I did, uh, in the interim, go ahead and get Toolbar. And here it is. Yeah, I could actually... Oh, okay. I'll be able to do that if I had to, so... Now I know that if GSX doesn't work, I've got two bar installed. I never had that before. Um, so we'll use that if we have to. Okay, so um, let's do that. Let me look around here. Let me go to the overhead. And I'll just basically do a 777 type inspection here. Here we go. Here we go. Let's say we're getting ready to push back. We would go hydraulic pumps on. Like that. We'd go fuel pumps on at that point. We would also go beacons on. Both. Beacons on, auto, they're on, pressure's off. Uh, these are on. These are the drives for batteries, electrics, they're off because we don't have anything running. Everything here is on. Generator control, that's after we start. APU's running. And we've got this column, everything's good here. No anti ice necessary. Um, I'll stand lighting, it's good enough for now. Up first, research fans are on, window heat is on over here. Everything's good. Bleeds are off. Packs are on. But we're going to start. So let's turn the packs off. All right. We've got those on. I think we're ready to go. I think we are. So let's go up to the uh, overhead. See if we can figure this out. Start number four. I don't know the airplane well enough to know. Um, you see here. So I could starting. Yeah, so I'm um, retired back in September. Got 21,000 hours. I, of the Boeings, I've flown uh, 72 as an engineer, 73 as a captain, 7576 as a captain, 777 as a captain, 707 as an Air Force captain and FO um, with KC-135. And I flew the McDonnell Douglas MD-11, which I was on the TFDI quality assurance team. And I flew the MD-80, 82, 83 as a Czech airman and captain. And I also flew the Airbus A300-600. Loved every airplane I've ever been on, honestly. It's been great. I'm going to start one here. I did notice uh, last uh, one time I started it, 
I always just think you with the GF-6-80s, which we had on a lot of our airplanes, like the uh, MB 1176 Airbus. They were 246810. Two, around four on the EGT. Six, around six on the RPM. Eight, eight the oil. We check for the oil gulp. It goes, uh, oil quantity goes down after start. And 10 is fuel flow. 246810, where's the fuel flow on this thing? Or right about here. It's a little low today. Could have done that all at once. I think they have auto start on this. Getting kind of dark out there, huh? Hope we can get to the LaGuardia in time. I think I'll go LNAV, VNAV out of here. As the engines start, I'll uh, let you know what we're doing. Yeah, they look good. Let me go back to the overhead. Start number two. Start valves open. Uh, play plan. Here we go. So we got a funky departure here. I'm sure they'll get us direct since we are uh, on the A team here with the, with the president on board. Tyler Nickel up this way, Lincoln, and up to Jerry's. Right here it has 3,000. That's why I have that in the window. 19 run, 190 heading direct to Glover. So if you come down here and look on the legs, Glover's the first point. And then uh, we'll go from there. Forty-five percent. The start valve usually closes. You can hear it. Sounds like maybe it's fifty. Okay, I didn't hear it. So we'll go up here, number three. Kind of nice doing this without um, any ground crew. Your connection's lost. I'm getting uh, Ethernet cables put in tomorrow. Pretty pumped about that. Um, so with this Microsoft uh, 2024, uh, it's going to use up almost no space on your hard drive. Um, but you've got to have a real good interconnection, at least over 100. And uh, I'm borderline, so I have the company coming on Thursday to put in Ethernet cables uh, for all my computers in the house so I because I have high-speed internet with a thousand but with the wireless I lose a lot of a lot of drop-off let me go to the overhead get some things taken care of here we can kill the APU we can put on the bleeds see what else we got here uh, we can press override everything else all lights out guys looks good I'm sure you guys go this guy's crazy I don't know what he's doing um, all right, flight directors are on, bugs are set, altimeter is set, set, set. That's just instant pass sale. Oh, it's one of those things. So used to being on the high fidelities. Um, okay, uh, all right, 3000 runway heading. We'll go LNAV, VNAV, and let's get the flaps to 10. There's 10 right there. I should have done the checklist before we even started after. Uh, pre-flight checklist for start we should have done that passenger side oh passenger signs didn't do that mr president he doesn't like to be told to sit down so there we go takeoff speed to set cdu pre-flight trim i'm uh, gonna go to the takeoff page here takeoff page trim is 4.8 go to flight controls Four point eight. Yeah, that's great. Connection lost. I'm not the best immersion guy anyway. And I think at this uh, Nord VPN, I don't want that running. I would rather not have that running. There we go. Rudders. 
ailerons and elevators are all good. Okay. Yeah, your, your face is connected. All right, so let's go recall. All right, stab is in the green van. Yes, it is. Fuel tank engine, TCAS off. Weather switch is off. Pack one, two, three. Okay, that none of that's good. None of that's good. So let's go with the overhead. Pack one, two, three. Stab is in the green van. And it is in the green van. Huh, I don't know if that means fuel tank the engine, TCAS is off, weather radar switch is off. Okay, hey, weather radar switch is off. Go. TCAS is off. Let's go down and see if we can find that, guys. Radios. We'll set in a a squawk. All right, let's, uh, you know what? Let's, hey, let's have a little fun. Let's do say intentions. Want to? Get Make this kind of legit here. You guys ever use this thing? I just started using it. This and Beyond ATC, they're both great. Let to think about it. We'll have, uh, we'll hire our co-pilot. We'll call him Brian. Let me see here. Uh, here's what I got set. In case you guys care, auto tune, auto tune the transponder, identity, uh, Air Force One, headset. Yep, that's all set. Volumes are good. Controls are all set up for my mics. I'll call the flight attendants. Uh, how we doing back there? Uh, the president ready to go? We've got canned and live multiplayer proximity. Intercom, hi, Brian. Yeah, he's there. And a professional flight attendant. I think I have to be out of this thing. Standard ATC experience. Uh, preview. We have traffic. Sequencing is in a beta phase of part of the partner program. I have the premium package part, part, part of the partner program. We also have an odds of crisis every flight. It's, in, it's in high, uh, here and high on the traffic, so that's all good and uh, good enough. Okay, Brian, how you doing over there? One. Altimeter three zero three five. I am doing well, thank you. Ready to handle the comms whenever you need me. One nine or left. Visual approach is in use. Advise on course heading. Altitude. Okay, Brian, would you mind getting the clearance for us, please? Read back all runway and hold short instructions. VFR departure. Sure thing. I'll handle that now. Delivery on one two. Okay, information Romeo. Brian's going to get the clearance. You can see that right now. uh I handed the communications over to him. Andrew's clearance, Air Force One requesting IFR clearance. We have Romeo. Wait for the return on the this. Gonna give us our taxi instructions. While doing that, I'll um, come in here, finish up the checklist. And the ice recall, flight controls, ground equipment, APU. Looks good. Flaps are done. And Brian, you have the comms. Brian, you have the comms. Here we go. Uh, clearance cleared to LaGuardia for whatever reason I'm not hearing them. Andrew's clearance, Air Force One, cleared to LaGuardia via Lincoln One departure, then as filed. Climb to and maintain 6,000. Expect flight level 190 10 minutes after departure. Departure frequency 125.65, squawk 4414. 4414, I'm not hearing that guy, so hold on a second. Let me see if uh, 4414 and TARA there. Air Force One, read back, correct? Air Force One, clear to LaGuardia via the Lincoln One departure, then as filed. Climb and maintain 6,000. Expect flight level 190, 10 minutes after departure. Departure on 125.65, squawk 4414. 
Okay, Brian, you can contact Ron and request taxi, please. Contacting ground for taxi clearance now. Andrews ground, Air Force One, ready to taxi. We have Romeo. Air Force One, Andrews ground, taxi to runway 19 or right via Whiskey 3, Whiskey. Runway 19 or right via Whiskey 3, Whiskey, Air Force One. And Bernadette, how are you doing in the back? I'm doing well, Captain. Everything is running smoothly in the back. Thank you for asking. Okay, is the president ready to taxi? Yes, Captain. The president is ready to taxi. Thank you. And Brian, Ladies could you request progressive taxi, now please? Preparing for taxi. Please ensure that your seatbelts are fastened and your seat backs are in the upright position. Thank you for your attention. You're welcome, Captain. Requesting progressive taxi now. All right, guys, so we'll have a little fun here. We'll get a little progressive taxi. Andrews yeah. Ground, Air Force One, requesting progressive taxi instructions for runway 19er right. There they are. Air Force One, progressive taxi approved. Taxi to runway 19er right via Whiskey 3 Whiskey. Follow the taxi path. Pretty cool, huh, guys? Ladies and gentlemen, this is your lead flight attendant, Erica. Welcome aboard our flight to LaGuardia Airport. We are currently pushing back from the gate and will be taxiing shortly. Please remain seated with your seatbelts fastened until we are airborne. We kindly ask that you turn off all electronic devices or switch them to airplane mode. Your cooperation is greatly appreciated. We have a total of eight emergency exits on this aircraft. And in the unlikely event of an emergency, please follow the crew's instructions. Smoking or vaping is not permitted on board, and there are smoke detectors in the restrooms. We are expecting a flight time of approximately 56 minutes. The weather at our destination is currently 14 degrees Celsius with a few clouds, so please prepare accordingly. We are happy to have you as our guest today, and we will begin our service once we reach a safe altitude. Thank you for your attention. And enjoy the flight. Naturally, the president can smoke if they want to. Can square this turn off. Sorry, Mr. President, I drove you onto the uh, soft area. All right, guys, here we go. All the way to the end. Check the weights, winds, and temperatures. Update the zero fuel weight. I don't have real real eight cars working today. I'm really just trying to get my first flight. So I did this uh, earlier today. Did the pre-flight, kind of get the routine down. Got all the way out, took off, and um, could not get the thing to rotate or directional control. Nothing worked. So I'll give it another try here. Took the president into the trees on my first flight. Is that a Max over there, 73 Max? Probably some fighters up here. Maybe. I saw them when we were coming out of the hangar and we were parked out there. Got here. C 17s down at the end. Yeah, GSX uh, d didn't work um, at all. So I took the MD 11 in here with the scenery pack and it worked. I took the PMDG uh, 7 3, it didn't work. So then I took this thing, the Kennedy, and uh, the GSX didn't, I mean, it worked. Uh, the GSX did not work. So this thing 
the seven three the md eleven worked here kennedy all had scenery packs this thing didn't work at either one so i downloaded the pushback toolbar just in case i needed it but position myself for a forward taxi this big yc seventeen s uh... flight attendant prepare for takeoff please let's go back inside and brian could you do our takeoff brief please Brian, would you do our departure brief, please? Sure, Captain. Here's our departure briefing. We will be departing from runway 19er right. We'll be flying the Lincoln 1 departure with an initial climb clearance to 6,000 feet. Transition altitude is 1818,000 feet. After takeoff, we'll follow the SID profile. Weather at departure shows no significant issues. In the event of an engine failure below 400 feet, we'll continue straight ahead and follow ATC instructions. Above 400 feet, we'll follow the engine out SID procedure, climbing to 3,000 feet before turning back. For any abnormalities or emergencies before V1, we'll reject the takeoff and apply maximum braking. After V1, we'll continue the takeoff, handle the emergency, and communicate with ATC. We have been cleared as filed. Squawk code is 4414, and departure frequency will be 125.65. We're configured for takeoff with flaps 5. V1 is 142 knots, VR is 147 knots, and V2 is 152 knots. We'll climb out at V2 plus 10 knots. I think we're ready to go, Captain. That was an outstanding brief. You uh, tell them we're ready to go. Sure thing, Captain. Here's our departure briefing. We will be departing from runway 19 or right. We'll be flying the Lincoln 1 departure with an initial climb clearance to 6,000 feet. Transition altitude is 18, 18,000 feet. After takeoff, we'll follow the SID profile. Weather at departure shows no Brian, significant Brian, I, I hate issues. to interrupt you, Brian. In the event of You've an engine failure below 400 feet, we'll, zero zero feet we'll continue straight ahead and follow ATC instructions. Above 400 feet, we'll follow the engine out SID procedure, climbing to 3,000 feet before turning back. For any abnormalities or emergencies before V1, we'll reject the takeoff and apply maximum braking. After V1, we'll continue the takeoff, handle the, the president emergency, ready for takeoff and communicate there? with ATC. We have been cleared as filed. Squawk code is 4414, and departure frequency will be 125.65. We're configured for takeoff with flaps 5. V1 is 142 knots, ah, VR is 147 knots, and V2 is 152 knots. We'll climb out at V2 plus 10 knots. I think we're ready to go, Captain. Thank, Thank you, you Brian. Captain. I'll let them know we're ready for takeoff. Can't have enough takeoff briefs, you know? That's what I always say. Hey, Brian, tell Tower we're ready for takeoff. Final's clear. Huh. He's taking his time. I'll do it. I'll do it. Andrews Tower... Air Force One is ready for takeoff on 19, right? Air Force One, Andrews Tower, runway 19 or right, winds 110 at 6. Arnav Gulver, cleared for takeoff. Arnav Gulver, cleared for takeoff, runway 19 right for Air Force One. Alright, guys, uh, let's see. We're ready to go. President's ready. Let's get going. Hopefully, I have directional control this time. Lights are on, chimes complete, finals clear. 
Yes, Captain. The President is ready for takeoff. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now preparing for takeoff. Please ensure that your seat belts are fastened and your seat backs are in the upright position. Thank you for your attention. Well, this is cool. So it all went well right up to here for me last time. Um, we Contacting started. Tower now to inform them we're ready for takeoff. You're welcome, Captain. Ryan's a little late. That's okay. Let's get going. Oh, I see what's happening, guys. This is your lead the number one engine's Erica. not coming up. We are now preparing for push. All right, guys. So what happened was that's why I went off the runway last time. My number one engine, I had just configured this for takeoff. Now they're coming up evenly, as you can see. Ha <laughs> ha! Mystery is solved. Thrust is set. Much better. That's what it was. How's it rate? You're up. Look at that beauty. Go down here where we can see. Go flaps up. Air Force One contact departure. Go into departure, Air Force One. Ryan's. Ryan's asleep on me here. Now, how do you turn on the autopilot on this thing? Air Force One, contact Potomac Departure for further instructions. Contacting Potomac Departure for further instructions. Air Force One. Going to six. Leveling at six. We're cleaned up. Wow, to wake up, uh, okay, Brian, you can call him, buddy. You contact departure, Brian. Let me see. Contacting Potomac departure now for further instructions. Thank you. Southeast of Washington, Executive Hyde Field at 5900 feet, heading 198, Clinton altimeter 30.33, cleared direct J res, climb and maintain flight level 190. Andrews Tower, Air Force One requesting additional instruction. Air Force One, proceed direct to J res, climb and maintain 190,000 feet. Proceeding direct to Jerez, climbing and maintaining one nine thousand feet, Air Force One. It's not perfect, guys, you know. What are you gonna do? Air Force One, contact Potomac approach on one one nine point eight five. Switching to Potomac approach on one one nine point eight five, Air Force One. All right, see if Brian contacts him. Yeah, they're sitting around. He's 
take this time. Potomac Approach, Air Force One evening, climbing through 7000 for flight level 190. direct, cut this corner guys, maybe direct to uh, Sean out of 10 Brian, can you uh, request direct to Sean please uh, uh, direct to Swan Swan please out of 10 Down I'll here. request the handover to Director Sean now. Yeah, Director Captain, Swan. Captain, we're currently in communication with Potomac Approach. We need to maintain our current frequency unless instructed otherwise by ATC. And Approach, Air Force One, request Director Swan. This is now permitted. And our onboard Wi Fi service. Potomac Approach, Air Force One requesting transfer to Director Sean. Safety. Please keep your seatbelt fastened at all times. Air Force One, unable to transfer to Director Sean at this time. Continue on current frequency. Our drinks and snack service will be starting shortly. And I. And Air Force One requests direct to Swan. Thank you. I'll request communication with Air Director Swan now. Suspend and maintain 3,500 and turn right heading 280, Blue Street 903. It says clear direct to Swan, guys. So. Air Force One, clear direct to Swan. Clear direct to Swan, Air Force One. All right, guys, it's working out. Let me go down here. It's not pretty, but we're getting there, right? Some lighting adjusted here. Trying to find all the lights. All right, so we are going to Swan. We're in Nav, L Nav, and uh, going up to 19. Ontario was 3033. Three nine seven five for Air Force One. All right, let's go to the altimeters. Standard. Three three nine seven five. Switching to Washington Center on one three three point nine or seven five Air Force One. Not perfect, guys. I know, but I'm just first flight. I mean, it's working out okay. Are at or above 24. Oh, we're at 19. Washington so. Center, Air Force One, evening, climbing through flight level 180 for flight level 190. Air Force One, Washington Center, good evening. I don't know about that, Sean. Ladies and gentlemen, we've reached a safe altitude. The use of approved portable electronic devices is now permitted, and our onboard Wi-Fi service is available. For your continued safety, please keep your seatbelt 
unfastened at all times, even if the captain turns off the fastened seatbelt sign. Our drinks and snack service will be starting soon, and items from the airline shop will also be available after the meal service. Thank you. That's fine on the transition there. I don't think we can uh, get the winds here. Alrighty, we're going. I don't think that's available here on the real airplane route data request sent. Maybe. UPS 461 heavy cleared for the star arrival contact approach on 119.3. Cleared for the star, switching to 119.3 UPS 461 heavy. Load the winds. Look at that. Made a liar out of me. Should have put that in. Defense, descent winds are available. Look at this. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right, so let's take a look at the uh, LaGuardia weather. Over here. Kind of humping, guys, here. It's, it's interesting. First flight in this thing. Weather. Have to be a baby. Quebec. They're landing on 2-2. Uh, oh, we're going to get to fly up the river? Maybe. Maybe. Um, 180 at 8, 3014. Uh, so not bad. So it's runway 22 ILS 22. Let's go down here. Departure to rivals. Index. Uh, yep, a lot of this is just 777 stuff, guys. Uh, let's see here. Index. Maybe they're going to give us the RNAV. I don't know. That'd be all right, right? ILS 2-2, no transition. Glide slips on. Proud. It hurts. All right. Here we come. Let me straighten out this box here since we're going to stay at 19. go 320 and 190. See if it lets me change it. 320 and 19. That should let me do that. Yep, I don't know why it's not letting me do that, guys. It's fine. And this one's going to be a skippy out of about 19. Let me get this here. We'll double check it for our arrival, which is the Route 2. Skippy at uh, which suit over here. See it better, right? Yeah, everyone's a winner. And then after Skippy, it's Bessie about 17. And then edge Air between Force 17. One, Washington Center. Expect the ILS runway 4 approach into LaGuardia. Crowd oh, nice. 2 arrival. Speak transition. Advise ready to descend. Otherwise, I'll give you your descent in two zero minutes. I'll let him answer. Expecting ILS runway 4 approach into LaGuardia. Crowd 2 arrival. Speak transition. We'll advise when ready to descend or wait for descent in two zero minutes. Air Force 1. Guys, that was, uh, by the way, that was completely my fault. I was proud to, and they said, uh, speak transition? Speak transition. Hmm. See how that looks. Zero five five five. Sierra Mike traffic alert, one, two o'clock, four miles opposite direction. They want us to go five, direct zero, speed. Five, 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 Sierra Mike. We'll just go direct speed, guys. And uh, transition that way. We would normally call them. Let them know. I don't think you probably make a... You just probably call back. I doubt you make many PAs with the president on board. 
proud to speak transition. Skip, you got to stay at 19 all the way to Skippy. Quarry Apple, and then radar vectors. Let me go plan. Here a little bit. There it is. I should probably get data in here. There we go. Yeah, it's pretty much a straight end. Nice. Sorry, guys. I'm usually a better instructor than this. I'm uh, humping just to get it done. All right, we're set up for LNAV, VNAV, and the ILS. Let's see, is coming up here. Charts, approach at LaGuardia, ILS. ILS is four, a little bit of a tailwind. ILS to four, 11 1, 5 July 12. Got a little bit of a tailwind on this big runway. Landing data probably would tell us. I don't think we have landing data. Available here. Uh, 1105044. 1105044 is set. Recall we use auto brakes. Better get those things, this thing stopped. We'll go all the way to auto brakes for landing data. Uh, Approach speed. Um, We'll go flaps 30. Correction 5 knots. So we'll go 30 and 136. And uh, 516 gross weight. We'll do some landing data. Approach brief. 10.5. Uh, get Beijing at 11. Bang at 3. Rachel at 18. Dennis at 17. Rachel at 18, Dennis at 17, and I better get that other one in there on my approach plate. Bang, B-E-N-N-G. And bang has to be at three. All right, looks good. Skippy at 19. We're going to stay at 19 all the way to Skippy. Look at that traffic right there. I can hear him go by it. Mr. President, I'm very sorry about that. Going to a United Nations meeting. That's why we're flying in today. After landing. We're landing on runway four. Probably turn off at Romeo. Come all the way back. I don't know where they park us. I think they park us way down here in this area. Over here. That's what we're planning on doing. I know our employee parking lot used to be right here. And uh, they had uh, parking in this area. This is the shuttle, old uh, shuttle. Short runway. We used to uh, come in here, and I remember one time I flew in here in a Super 80, and we had to wait because uh, the president was getting, I'm not going to say what year it was, the president was getting a haircut in Manhattan, and uh, they shut down the airport for 
an hour and a half while we waited for them to come back. It was lovely. It doesn't matter which president it is. They all would have done it. Let's make sure they don't forget about us here. Ryan, could you tell me we'd like to descend uh, via the to 4,000 feet via the proud arrival, please? Now, this proud stops at 10, but um, I'm going to have a... Keep I'll it request descent to 4,000 feet via the proud to arrival now. Thank you. Brian a little while to formulate his thoughts. He's a thinking man. Washington Center, Air Force One, requesting to descend to 4,000 feet on the proud to arrival. And guys, for whatever reason, we're not hearing Washington very often, but um, we just got a clearance. I'll show it to you. Maybe I have my volumes down a little bit. And by the way, our top of descent is right here. So about five miles, so it'll start down. Um, but I, we did get the clearance. Here it is. Center maintain 4,000 the pride to arrival. Now, maybe, did I turn my volume down too much? headset uh, com one let's turn that all the way up one, two and um, we also were had the traffic on here high traffic we're not getting a lot today experimentals on just playing with it a little bit and let me uh, tell them back there that we're almost ready to, to descend go to fix and I put in Kayla Guardia and how are you doing in the back Air Force there? One descend via proud two for the ILS runway four approach into LaGuardia altimeter three zero point three niner I'm doing well captain Everything is under control in the back. Okay, very good. We should be landing. You can tell the president in 25 minutes. Um, not sure if. Since it's the first time, I think we better start down here. Doesn't look like it figured it out. I'm going to pop a little speed brakes, help it out here. It's uh, in speed now because it got out of path because it got high. <clears throat> Maybe I didn't push it. Altimeters. 3033. 3 And here it comes down. We can go speed brake up, and it should be back in path, and there it is in path. There we 
go. It's getting down a little below it. And let's see what else we're going to do here. 11, it says we can maintain eh, 321 at Corey. All right, we'll let it do its thing. It's going to level off and maintain 321 at Corey. All right, let's go to the overhead, get the lights on. That's not the overhead, Captain. That's the overhead. I'm humping, guys, to get this done here. Let's turn on the logo. Wings, let's light it up. Light it up. I'm going to get them ready early. Prepare for landing, please. <clears throat> All right, it's on path. You can see that we're on the path. I should adjust that view. Let me do this. Control all two. That should be better. That's better. Go right through that yoke, huh? So its plan, uh, this airplane is planning to level off in Corey at 10 and maintain 321 and then start slowing before it starts down. We could hard drive it here, I'll show you. Remember right now it thinks it's going to be a Beijing at 3. We could tell we want to be a proud at 3. down a little earlier. And nice. I mean, for a stock airplane, a Sobo, <clears throat> pretty nice. Pretty nice. Air Force One, contact New York Center on 133.5. Contacting New York Center on 133.5, Air Force One. New York Center, Air Force One evening, descending through 1, 1,000 feet down to 4,000. Air Force One, New York Center, good evening, Jobstown, altimeter 30.36. Why don't we uh, take the blue by the horns here, and I'm going to ask for direct. Um, to go to the box. Ladies and gentlemen. Two nine 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 seven five Fox Alpha. Bombardier. Please turn off all portable electronic devices and stow them until we have arrived at the gate. In preparation for landing in LaGuardia. Be certain your seat back is straight up and your seat Ryan, can you tell them request direct to please Bang and 3,000 feet, please? And pass any remaining service items and... Shot Alpha, expect the ILS runway 13 approach into Atlantic. I'll have your descent in one, five minutes. Let me know if you want to descend sooner. That's one. I'll request direct to Bang at 3,000 feet now. All right, still on the uh, VTI. I have flaps one set. Speed below 265, flaps five. New York Center, Air Force One, requesting right direct to bang, maintaining 3,000 feet. Air Force One, clear direct to bang, maintain 3,000 feet. Trick bang, 3,000 feet. Climbing and maintain flight level 330, Air Canada 287. Direct to bang, maintain 3,000 feet, Air Force One. It's kind of funky there, guys. Um, legs, direct to bang. 
add three thousand there we go that's better <clears throat> And now you can see that we're a little below, coming up nicely. It's holding it up. Good, knows where it is. That's impressive for a stock airplane. A Prague, 41 miles to go. <clears throat> Pretty much a straight in. Kind of missed approach. You see here. Oh, to Greco and hold. And there it is, Greco holding only 2,000 feet. Normal menu, approach, altimeters, 3039, set once, twice, three times, set, for takeoff. Let's, yeah, this thing is let the sequence properly. Usually it goes to the next sequence. We can get our speed brakes armed. Air Force One, proceed to Rick Rahel, cleared for the ILS runway four approach. Direct Rachel. There it is. Proceeding direct Rahel, cleared for the ILS runway four approach, Air Force One. All right, guys, we are on the glide path, on the vertical track. We're still in path. We've got the ILS tuned. Double check that, make sure it didn't slip out. 1105043. Going down to minimums, which we really didn't set. 200 feet, radio altimeter, barrow, yeah, 200 feet is good. And Rahel, calling it Rahel. Should be at 1800. We'll be able to clear in uh, the ILS as we get in here. And Rahel is about five miles, let me see, about seven miles from the field. So we definitely want to be at around 180 by then. So we get 20 miles to get slowed down. Still on the path here nicely. Long Island. Right. Southwest one four two, turn left, Long heading one nine zero. Turning left to one nine zero, southwest one four two. It's New Jersey, Newark's over there. Jersey Shore is over there. Long Island's up ahead of us. I guess we can arm the ILS. up at 3,000. Keep it coming down. We'll bring this all the way down to 1,800 since we're going over a hill. 
Rachel. And we still have 10 miles till Rachel. That's a little better, right? Right before, wasn't it? Okay. Check the overhead. Lights are on. Everything's lit up. Looks good. No unwanted things. No unwanted messages. You can recall. Gear and flaps to go. All right, coming up, Rachel. I want to be at least slowed down to 180, so I'll get it back to 210 here. We can go flaps 10. We'll blow 245. Flap speeds are right there, but I've written them down. I'm just letting it fly down on the path, vertical path, guys. It'll cross uh, Rachel. At 18. See how it's right on the path. Good. All right, Rachel, I want to be at 180. Start bringing the speed back a little more. Probably get the gear down. 2500. A little 235 plus 20. Localize. You can see the ghost here. That's the, uh, we call it the ghost, which is slang for just a glide slope. It's coming into view, and the localizer is coming into view. It's uh, a lot of, lot of similarities to the 777 here, which I have a lot of time on. So, And I've been flying it recently, PMTG 777, so it's helping with the transition. We'll see about the landing, huh? I'm going to have to probably flare it more like 50 feet than 30. And there's still going down on the path to cross Rachel at 18, at which point to level off and pick up uh, somewhere, pick up the Air Force One, contact LaGuardia Tower on 118.7. Runway's right there. Switching to LaGuardia Tower on 118.7, Air Force One. 136 on the speed. United, 2279, turn right heading 060 vectors for the ILS runway 22 left approach. LaGuardia Tower, Air Force One evening, maintaining 2,000 feet. It's going to level off at 18, guys, then it'll intercept the glide slope. Because that was on the path, right? Still hasn't intercepted the localizer. A little bothered by that. And there goes the glide path. So I'm going to turn off the autopilot. I definitely armed the approach up here, didn't I? I did, but I don't know what happened. Let's go in here and get on, on set up on this thing. Air Force One. LaGuardia Tower, roger. Continue approach to runway 4 at KLGA. 
down on it, guys. Thirty-nine is fine. There we go. Air Force One, LaGuardia Tower, winds one four zero at eight. Runway four, cleared to land. The president has no idea that's my first flight. I asked that people not to tell him. Right heading zero six zero. Vectors for the ILS runway two two left approach. United twenty two seventy nine. What the heck is that guy doing up there? Runway 4, clear to land. Air Force 1. Clear to land, I copy. Right hand turn off, guys. We'll request progressive. Actually, I'll just, uh, I know where I'm going. Not really. Got to remember to start this uh, flare kind of high. One red over three whites is what you want for this giant airplane. Put it down, boss. Put it down. Don't put the president in the drink. Let's see if I got these reverses programmed. Uh, 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 uh. I flaps up after landing. Not proud of that one, but hey, pretty cool. Brian, can you contact ground, please? Captain, we're currently in Air Force One. Welcome to LaGuardia. Contact ground on 131.475. Instructed otherwise by ATC. 131.47. One through one four seven five for Air Force One. Ground Air Force One's on the ground for parking. We decided, guys, we're going to park. Air Force One, LaGuardia ground, taxi to A1 via Bravo, Charlie Yankee, cross runway 04 at your discretion. Have a good day. Request progressive taxi for Air Force One. Or at our discretion, Air Force One. Air Force One requests progressive taxi. Air Force One progressive taxi approved. Taxi to A1 via Bravo, Charlie Yankee, cross runway 04 at your discretion. Have a good day. LaGuardia ground, Air Force One evening. We're clear of runway 4 and ready to taxi to the gate. All right, guys, so there it is. Let's go to the overhead, get the... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. APU started. No, I don't know where I'm going. Thanks for asking. Here we go. That's where we said we were going to park, though. I don't know why I'm not getting an airplane here. Uh, maybe the same link went away. All right. The park is over here. Of 
course the president usually has cars meet him, right? We'll just park ourselves in here. And have the car come. Right about in here. Stop it. Brakes are set. Parking brakes set. APU is established. You chop them. Turn off the seatbelt sign. And that's it, guys. First flight's complete. Well, the time is out.